my name is Sarah and welcome to Sand and Sea Tarot. This is going to be a general sign reading. So this is going to be for your sign, whether it's your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, cross watchers are also welcome to watch, um, but this is not going to resonate with everyone. If you feel like this, in none of this reading is going to match any part of your situation, that's okay. Just leave whatever doesn't resonate. And if something does resonate, go ahead and comment down below. I'd love to hear it. Um, also, if you feel like you really wanna dive deeper into your own situation to find out more information about your circumstances, um, I highly recommend that you book a personalized reading with me. If you click in the description box below, there is a link to my website in which uh, I offer personalized readings. Okay, so let's get on with our readings. Okay, Taurus. Hello, Taurus. Um, so I'm going to be starting with the Oracle here. This is the Energy Oracle. Um, and we're just gonna get two cards. So two things that Spirit wants to address with you, Taurus. Spirit, please tell Taurus two messages. What are two messages you have for Taurus? Two messages for Taurus, please. Okay, so the first card we have is Patience. And our second card is Envy. Interesting that this was the same exact card in the Aries reading I just did. So with the Patience card here, um, this card is suggesting that something that you desire, that you've been wanting, that you've been manifesting or trying to manifest is coming, but to continue to have patience. Um, I know we can be so eager in time. And um, I did read in the guidebook that patience for timing with this card in particular, they're saying is winter. I mean, if you look at her, look, there's snow. There's like snow on the trees over here. She's like wearing a gown that's like in the snow. So it's indicating winter. So continue to have patience because something you're manifesting, something you desire is coming this winter. The other card we have here is envy. So spirit just wants you to, oh, actually I think in the other reading, no, it was upright, never mind. Uh, spirit just wants you to be mindful of being jealous or envious. Um, so if you look at her, like she's all in this dark gown, dark surroundings, and she's looking over here to the light, this castle, this beautiful golden light with flowers and stuff. And she's, she's wishing, you know, that she, she could be there. And what does she have in her hand? Sorry, I have to look at it. I wish I had glasses. I don't wear glasses, but it's really hard to see. Oh, it's not something in her hand. I yeah, it is something. I can't quite see her hand holding it, but it looks like a goblet. She's She has like a goblet here and there's something in the goblet. I can't tell what it is, but there's something in it. Um, so it could be that she, and she's also, it looks like she's holding a wand or something here in this hand. She's holding on to envy, holding on to jealousy instead of releasing it. So I think that's what spirit wants you to do is release any jealousy or envy that you may, might be feeling towards a situation, towards people, um, you know, because you, she can have this thing here. She's jealous that she doesn't have it right now. It doesn't mean that she can't have this beautiful castle and home, you know? So spirit is just telling you to just um, not be, 
jealous or envious because it doesn't mean that you can't have that thing either. But instead of like being jealous, have the attitude of like, wow, I'm so happy for that person. That must be so neat that they can experience that experience. One day I'm going to have that too. That's kind of the attitude that spirit wants you to take on with that card there. Okay, so now we're going to get into the romantic situation with your person. So spirit, please let us know what's going on with Taurus in their relationship, their romantic life. What is happening? What is happening with Taurus's love life? Spirit, please give us a message about Taurus's love life. Message about Taurus's love life. Did not go in so well. Tell us a message about Taurus's love life, please, Spirit. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands reversed, the Nine of Cups, the Emperor reversed, the Knight of Cups reversed, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting the feeling, Taurus, that you are the Queen of Wands in reverse here. So this is something how your parent sorry, how your person currently sees you now or um, recently how they saw you. Um, so the queen of wands here, she is a Aries. I believe that's an Aries. So you might be dealing with an Aries. Um, we also have Aries here with the emperor reversed. And then the knight of cups is a Pisces. So you could be dealing with Aries or sorry, um, oh yeah, Aries, Aries, Pisces. Okay, so the Queen of Wands here in reverse. So this card is telling me that um, you used to be very excited about this connection with your person. Um, there was a lot of sexual attraction towards them, um, a lot of passion, and some of that has dwindled for you. Um, you could be acting a little selfish right now, um, a little bit self-centered, um, not really, you know, caring about anyone else in this connection. And, um, you know, this could just be how your person sees you is that you're being like selfish and self-centered right now, um, not willing to compromise. And then I believe that this is your person here with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is how you see your person, is you see that your person is not being very loving. They're not being forthcoming in their feelings. Um, they're not expressing emotions. They're not making efforts to take you out on romantic dates. They're kind of acting like this horse here, this free spirit horse. That's how you see them. And then um, with the Nine of Cups here, your, your Nine of Cups person in this connection does feel like completely content with you, with, um, with their connection with you. They do feel like you're their wish fulfilled. However, I think that the energy of the Emperor Reverse is also your person, which says, um, so... The Knight of Cups in reverse is how I believe that you see your person right now, but the Emperor is how your person actually is right now in this connection. So I believe that your um, person is trying to regain control of this connection. Somehow the Emperor upright is all about like in control, but it's like a, it's a stable amount of control, you know, where they feel like their life is in control, not that they're trying to control you. 
in the reverse position, this person can now be acting a bit controlling. So overly controlling, um, probably because things are not going as this person planned or expected. So they are trying to regain control of this connection, kind of like a power struggle. And then we have the seven of pentacles here. So the seven, seven of pentacles is about investing in something, nurturing it, and you're waiting for it to grow. So I believe that this is also your person's belief of where this connection is going. Your person believes that things are growing and going nice and steady. Um, they've planted the seeds and they're just waiting for the harvest of this relationship to continue to grow. So let's go ahead and before I pull clarifiers, I'm going to do another row here. So what else for Taurus? Spirit, what else do you have to tell Taurus right now? I'm going to just one more time here. What else do you have for Taurus? What other message for Taurus, please? We have the King of Wands. We have the Strength card. We have the Ten of Swords. Temperance in reverse. And we have the Four of Wands in reverse. So Taurus, you know what I'm going to say? With the Queen of Wands in reverse here and the King of Wands upright, you know I'm going to say that this is a deep connection. This is a deep soul connection. This is soulmates. Um, even though one of them is reversed. They're both here, the king and queen of wands. So this is a soulmate connection. And again, as a reminder, when I say that you are the queen and your person is the knight, it there's no sex, or there's no gender in tarot. So you could be a male and be having the queen of wands energy. So here with the king of wands, um, this is my belief that your person wants to be this king of wands for you. This is their intention towards you is to be this king of wands. Currently, you see them as the knight of cups in reverse. They currently are acting as the emperor reverse where they're trying to gain, regain control. But your person also is this king of wands, which is a Leo. And this person the king of wands, obviously it's a fire sign. So this person just goes for it. They set their mind on a target like this lion, this lion looking at this individual, that's his target. You know, he's the prey and this, or he's the prey and he's, you know, he's going to get them. Um, so that is the energy of your person is they set their mind on a target. They go for it. There's passion. There's a lot of mutual attraction here, even though I said that maybe there was not a lot of mutual or even though you're in the reverse, I still believe like you're heavily attracted to your person. I just think that you're acting a little bit controlling, a little bit selfish right now um, or not controlling, but just um, more, more selfish. Um, you may also with the queen of wands be feeling a little bit um, insecure because the queen of wands upright would be very confident in herself. So you might be feeling a little bit insecure right now. Um, low self-esteem. But anyway, so with back with this king of wands. So he is just going to go for his target, which is you, Taurus. You are this queen and he's got his eyes set on you and he's going to go for that. Um, we also have this strength card here, which this is just spirit telling you to continue to have strength and courage to, um, to kind of just stick this out. Like things may not be exactly where you want them to be, but to have the courage to find your truths in this connection, to face your fears, um, you know, just to don't back down. And then we have the 10 of swords here. So the 10 of swords is all about, um, feeling like you have, hit rock bottom. Um, you feel like there's nothing left. There's no life left in you. I know this picture doesn't really depict it that well. Cause you're like, why are there crows in the sky? And this person is just walking. If they feel like beaten down, shouldn't they be laying down like the, the rider weight deck, you know, would have swords in this person's back. But, um, you just feel so beat up 
um, knocked down. You have feel like you have no energy left to give. And I think that's what also what the strength card here is for is to tell you to continue. It's spirit is trying to continue to hold on, carry on Taurus, even though you feel like you have nothing left to give, there's no hope for you. Um, you just, you feel like you cannot go on another day with this connection. Spirit is telling you here with the strength card to continue to hang on, have the courage to hang on because this is a soulmate connection. With the temperance in reverse, this suggests that um, the connection is out of balance. Um, things could be a little bit excessive. So for example, maybe there's a lot of thinking about this person almost to the point where it feels like it's an obsession because you, you, you're thinking about what happened in this connection or a recent argument or just overly thinking about your person. I know it's very hard. It's, it's hard to not think about someone you care about. But so Spirit is just telling you that maybe that could be kind of a block right now is there's a little bit too much focus on something. There's something in excess. Um, this also could be just other like habits. It could be excess of overeating, um, drinking too much, overspending. There's something in your life right now, Taurus, that there is an excess of, an excess of, I feel like I can't talk today. Um, so just be mindful of something that you could be overindulge in, overindulging in. And then lastly, we have the four of wands in reverse here. So the four of wands, I'm trying to get the darn camera. There we go. The four of wands is about in the upright position. This would be about celebrations, weddings. In the reverse, it's saying that there could be a temporary separation right now. So there could be something that you're dealing with your partner where you guys got an argument or there's no communication. Um, you could have decided to just take a break for a little bit. Um, this could also just mean like something delayed. So like say for instance, there was an event you were supposed to go to with your person and now it's been canceled or there's a delay on it. So it could mean that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and just clarify some of these cards here. So we're gonna clarify, um, why does your person see you as the queen of wands? Why the queen of wands? Why the queen of wands? We have these seven of cups. You might be feeling like you have some kind of um, indecision. Like you feel like there's too many things going on around you in this connection. And um, you're distracted, not that you're distracted from the connection itself, but um, maybe you're not seeing things for what they are in this relationship, this connection. Maybe um, there's too many things that are kind of clouding your judgment with this person. Um, it could be influences. Let's say you've talked about this uh, situation with your closest friends, with your family members, and their opinions and stuff are now penetrating your mind and you're trying, you're like weighing things out and thinking like, oh yeah, well, my mom said that, you know, this shouldn't be happening when you really love someone. Oh, and my friend is saying, you know, if this person really liked me that they would be doing X, Y, and Z. So there could be a lot of things that are just kind of clouding your, um, clouding your own judgment on how you're seeing this connection. And, um, we have a Scorpio here too. Um, oh, did I say we have a Sagittarius? Sorry. So we have a Sagittarius, we have a Scorpio, we have a Leo, we have strong Aries and we have a Pisces here. Uh, so let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify this nine of cups. So your person thinks that you are their wish fulfilled. That kind of fell out sideways. So I'm going to put that back in. So let's clarify why the nine of cups. Interesting. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse, exactly how it is here. So when there's two cards that are um, that show up in a reading, and especially when they're facing the same direction, which in this case they are both in the reverse, that just intensifies the meaning of what this card represents. So again, this is how you see your person. 
Um, so even though your person feels like they, that you are their nine of, nine of cups, which is like all about fulfillment, your wish fulfilled, um, your person is showing up a little bit, um, your person is showing up like a little bit withdrawn. Um, your person can also be a little bit moody, I guess here. I'm not sure how that relates to the nine of cups, but we'll go ahead and draw another card because obviously spirit wants you to know that this knight of cups is important. So this person is just not showing up, um, you know, as this great romantic partner that you thought or that you want. It does show here that I do see jealousy too. So your person is jealous that you could be talking to someone else engaging with someone else, maybe on like social media. There we go. Okay, so now we have the chariot reverse, clarifying that nine of cups. So the chariot reverse is all about a lack of movement. And there's powerlessness, which also, um, you know, that's what I had said here with the emperor reverse that your person is trying to regain power. So even though your person feels that you're their wish fulfilled, they still feel like there is a lack of movement in this connection. So you're not alone in thinking that they also believe that there's a lack of movement and it's possibly because your person is being a little bit moody. They're trying to avoid conflict. So they might be just pulling back quite a bit. Um, they're not being forthcoming with their emotions. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify, let's clarify the Knight of Cups here. Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Knight of Cups? We have these Seven of Swords in Reverse. So your person is going to, um, your person is going to make a, some kind of amends here with the seven of swords. And this is also Aquarius energy. Um, so your person is trying to make amends for, for maybe not showing up as this knight of cups upright. Your person is aware that they've been moody, that they've been withdrawn. So you are going to get some kind of communication from them, some kind of apology. And now let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords here. Why the Ten of Swords, Spirit? We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So again, this tells me that someone has been trying to cling to control in this connection, which I do believe is your person. There has been some resistance to change. Um, they've kind of been stuck in, um, the, or this connection has kind of been stuck in, an, in a cycle and it's like a repeating cycle. Um, but I do believe that, you know, that's why Spirit is trying to tell you to hang on with the strength card here because, you know, your person ultimately wants things to grow, wants this connection to grow. And it's not going to happen overnight, but there needs to be something, some things have to be addressed. And so there's something here about a cycle that this connection seems to be stuck in. So let's just go ahead and pull one more. We have the sun. Oh, interesting. So whatever this old cycle is that you've noticed that keeps repeating with this person, um, there is light at the end of the tunnel because there is a renewal of hope. Um, you know, with the sun card here, this is Aquarius energy again. There's going to be some inner clarity happening. Um, it's possible that your person or you may be embarking more of a spiritual, um, like a spiritual journey right now, which is going to help heal this relationship and change, change whatever this cycle is that it's been stuck in. Uh, let's go ahead and clarify now the temperance in reverse. Why the temperance in reverse? 
Why the temperance in reverse, spirit? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So remember how I said with the temperance card that something seems to be like it could be in excess. It could also mean impatience, but I do feel, I get the feeling that something has been in excess. And here we have the Ten of Pentacles clarifying it. And the Ten of Pentacles is all about long-term stability, um, security, financial security, um, family, home. So there is something here in excess. It could be someone is overspending. Um, and there could be some overspending due to um, maybe that's the way that you deal with hurt, Taurus, if this is you, that you spend money, you buy things, you go shopping to kind of help make you feel better. So there, there was this warning here that something was in excess. And I do believe that it has to do with financial matters. Um, and now we have a Virgo here. So we have a Virgo, we have Aquarius, we have Leo, um, we have strong Leo. We have Pisces, we have strong Aries, Cancer, and a Scorpio. So let's clarify the Four of Wands. I'm going to pause the camera for a minute. Okay, my camera only records at 29 minutes and then it stops. So I had to make sure that we were almost there. So I had to restart it. Okay, so we're going to clarify now the Four of Wands. Why the Four of Wands, Spirit? Why the Four of Wands? So we have the four of pentacles in reverse. So with the four of wands here, remember that I said that this could be something that was delayed. Um, you know, because usually upright would mean celebrations, could be weddings, but something could have canceled. So there's a delay on, um, you know, an event or something. And now we have the four of pentacles, which is also talks about overspending. So maybe there's been some overspending and um and this does mean that like so the, some overspending is going to stop basically like you or your person is going to be a little bit more um financially prepared uh this could be this four of wands when it's means celebrations it could have meant like maybe your person was going to take things to the next level with you but then they had to back off from whatever that was so let's say uh, you're going to take your first trip together and then um, your person suddenly couldn't afford it or you couldn't afford it because there was been there's been some kind of overspending. So that idea got canceled. Or if it was going to be an engagement, it has to it's been delayed because your person can't afford the ring you know, or whatever or the wedding. The wedding had to be delayed because the, you couldn't afford it. So there's something here, but it shows that um, it does have to do with money. Um, the delay. So I think because there was overspending because that's showing up here twice in this reading. I'm getting that feeling that there's been overspending. So now we have a Capricorn in this reading as well. Really what you should get from this reading here, the ultimate thing is that your person does believe that there's potential in this relationship. There's long term. It's going to be very slow and that's how your person desires it. Your person is trying to regain control. You will get an apology. Um, you know, because there's been lack of movement, because your person is not showing up as this Knight of Kings. But I think your person is going to be changing that, um, especially because there are here some some things being stuck, something's not changing. It's it's in the same pattern. So I believe it's your person that's going to be making these changes. When your person starts to make these changes, you're going to have a renewed hope in this connection. Um, things will move towards long-term stability with this person uh, your person is going to again um, set up whatever plans whatever this next level was that was canceled or something because of finances your person is now getting in a better place or this could be you that financially is getting a better place to proceed with those plans again let's just go ahead and clarify let's clarify one more thing here Let's clarify the strength card. Why the strength card? Why did I do it? Put it over here. 
Oh goodness, we have the lovers. So as I said earlier with this King of Wands here and this Queen of Wands here, that this is a deep connection and that's the lovers just clarified that, that this is a deep soul connection. There's divine love here. Um, this relationship will go into unity and balance. If you continue to have the strength and courage to stick it out, you will get your, your true love with this person. You will. Because this is a very deep connection. It's a soulmate connection. Um, we also have Gemini energy here now. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, so the next part I'm going to do is we're going to go through all of the signs. So we're going to do take a love message from every sign towards you, Taurus. Oh, not this one. Looking for my signs. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start going through these. Scoot these a little over more. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take a message from the Truth Within Oracle. Spirit, please give us messages to Taurus from their person sign. So we're going to start with Aries to Pisces. Give us some love message from Taurus's person. Give us a love message from Taurus's person that's on their mind. Love message from Taurus's person. Let's do one shuffle here. Okay, here we go. So if you're dealing with an Aries, we have, I don't do well with emotions, so I hide behind superficial and material things. So didn't I say that earlier? Didn't I say that someone's overspending? Okay, if you're dealing with a Taurus, I reminiscent about our past and it is always with me. So this person's thinking a lot about you, remembering the, the past memories. If you're dealing with a Gemini, you consume my mind at night and I can't stop thinking about you. Uh, cancer, you're in my mind's eye everywhere I go. If you're dealing with a Leo, I want to rekindle our spark again. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I wish things could have worked out between us, but we're too different. So remember, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're dealing with a Libra, I feel lost and confused with no way out. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I prefer to stay silent when I get asked about you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I had time to think and I know I messed this up with you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I now know that I should have been there for you and treated you better. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, realizing how much I messed up has left me crushed. Pisces, you are a distraction from the misery I feel. Okay. That's your reading, Taurus. I appreciate you for watching this video. Please like it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.